So today I'm going to talk about how to choose a splashback for your kitchen. Now there are so many different options you can do with a splashback. The main one that a lot of people go for are tiles, but the only thing with tiles is, is if you're going to put a splashback behind a hob, the grease that gets in the grout lines just makes it a lot harder to keep clean. The other options are when you're having like a, a quartz worktop, a granite worktop or a marble worktop, you can also continue the splashback up and go behind a hob with exactly the same material. The good thing about these, they're nice and easy to keep clean and they're very heat resistant as well. Now, the, probably the most popular at this moment in time is a glass one. That's this one here. Now, if you're clever enough with your glass one as well, you can have any image you want. You can have a print of me, so just looking at you whilst you're cooking, or you can get the perfect garden and it stays green all year round. But if you don't want to go for the print or the image, you can just have a nice, normal, glass splashback and they come in so many variants of colours which is really awesome because what that does that adds a real good splash of colour to your bathroom and really bring, um, you, um, not your bathroom, your kitchen and it brings it to life. So now let's say, so there, there's a few variances of a splashback you can have so that's like say you've got your tiles, you've got your, your natural stone, your quartz, your marble, your granite and um, then you've got your glass which is really cool so like I was just showing you and remember not your bathroom it goes in your kitchen behind your hob. So I hope that really helps you in making a decision on how to choose a splashback for your kitchen and so if you want to go look at all my blogs, my videos and articles, they've all been created and designed for you to help you with your home improvement project. So go check them out and I'll catch you next time.